It feels great to be here in the studio to record our third album with the Karn Davidson 9. This is our third recording as an ensemble, and this project is very personal. It's the most personal recording we've done so far. It's going to be titled The History of Us, and it's really about family and identity. The beginning of the tango, mm -hmm. if you could switch to hand drums. The Cardin Davidson 9 is led by myself, Tara Davidson, on saxophones, and my husband, trombonist William Karn. We're going to do the chorale now, so Ernesto and Andrew are going to take a break. Yeah. <laughs> The group is an amazing collection of musicians and friends. We've got Christian Overton on the bass trombone, Jason Logue on trumpet and flugelhorn, Kevin Turcott on trumpet and flugelhorn, Kelly Jefferson on woodwinds, and Sharantha Bedegay on woodwinds, as well as Ernesto Servini on drums and Andrew Downing on bass. This band's been around for the better part of 10 years. We know these people really well. I mean, these are our friends as well as colleagues. So we had those voices, those, those musical voices in our, in our ears as we're writing this music. So that also helps us write, kind of almost like tailor the music towards the players. And the music really is specifically for the, the players in CD9. This record is comprised of the whole recording of two suites of music, one composed by Tara, one by myself. Mine is about my family's immigration to Canada from Hong Kong via Costa Rica, where I was born actually, and then we ended up in Canada. My suite is basically a collection of love letters to my family, my mom, my dad, and the Davidson clan. These very personal stories uh, about family, it's not even just about specifically the family's experience, but it's also what, through that experience, how it affected me as, as an individual. The first movement is called A New Life, and it's really a, about my parents leaving their home in Hong Kong. It was in the 60s they left, and uh, it was the time of riots and all that, and they decided they just needed to leave because there wasn't much chance of employment, so they looked for a better life. They went to Costa Rica because my dad's actually half Chinese, half Costa Rican. The idea of coming to a new country and just starting over, I mean, that's a... Uh, I can't imagine doing that myself. And then I'm actually born in Costa Rica, in San Jose. The next movement, which is really about my mother's um, a lullaby that she used to sing to both my brother and I when we were babies. So I use that theme and that's the second movement. It's called The Mother's Song. If you don't have much money to begin with when you in a place like Costa Rica, it's pretty hard to get ahead. So thankfully, my mother had the foresight to realize, okay, Canada is the, uh, the new world and there's greater opportunities there. So that's how we ended up here in Canada. We go from Mother's Song, which is about me in Costa Rica, or us, and then eventually the third movement is just called Home. When I wrote that song, I, I just thought about, well, here we are in Canada, and uh, this country is, is, is based on immigrants. We're all immigrants. I don't care how many generations that, you know, people are here. Unless you're from the indigenous population. So I think, yeah, this immigrant story is about as Canadian as it gets. The spark that inspired the suite initially was the passing of my father in 2015. I really wanted to write a love letter to him, but also a celebration of the Davidson family. So I wrote him a movement, and then a more celebratory, festive movement of the suite to the Davidson clan that's sort of inspired by Gaelic music. The last movement that was composed was for my mother. That was written actually just last year. I always knew that I wanted to write something for her, but it came later. Yeah, I guess I go to family photographs, family, family photo albums um, when I think of my mom because I was five years old when she passed away. So 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of memories of her. But my dad was a very enthusiastic photographer and took tons of pictures of myself and my brother and lots of home movies. So thankfully, I've got a lot of photographs to, to reference to, to look at my mom and think about her. These stories are very typical of a lot of families. You know, these things happen, and these are just two stories. At the end of the day, it's instrumental music, and uh, it allows the listener to use their own imaginations and uh, go on a journey with, uh, with this music. Hopefully it inspires them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs>